Good evening, my name is Jason Debley. You'll recall from uh, two previous episodes of my uh, whiskey channel that I did a whiskey tasting a couple of weeks ago featuring three whiskeys, one American, uh, few rye whiskey, F-E-W, uh, from a small batch uh, producer outside Chicago. Uh, the second whiskey was a Canadian Crown Royal Noble Collection uh, French cask finished uh, whiskey, basically taking Crown Royal and aging it in French oak. And then the third uh, whiskey was from Scotland. This one, Talisker 10 year old. Uh, single malt that is in the Ian Fleming James Bond books. The drink of James Bond in the movies. I think the director said James Bond drank a martini shaken but not stirred. I have very little left. So at my whiskey tasting there were quite a few people there and the most popular whiskey was Talisker. And one person there who had never tried Talisker before was simply dumbfounded by how good it was. His favorite whiskey was a Bell Blair uh, high ABV, very expensive whiskey, and then he tried Talisker for like a third of the price and he was blown away. On the nose you have a maritime sweetness but a sea air saltiness. The nose is great. Vanilla, iodine, the color is remarkable. There probably is artificial color, but still, because I love this whiskey so much, I think the color imparts something magical. On the palate, there's a sweetness merged with white peppercorn, or a black peppercorn in white cheddar. It's what I like about the Isle of Skye and the Talisker's from the Isle of Skye region of Scotland is that the peat and the smoke are not overwhelming. Whereas if you try whiskies from Isla distilleries like um, Ardbeg, um, Lafrag, Lagavulin even. The phenolic notes are much more concentrated, much bigger and in your face. Metalsker is more sophisticated, gentler. But can be a clenched fist in a velvet glove because the alcohol by volume is 45.8%. This bottle is now empty, a testament to how popular it was. I have noticed, and people online have commented, that there has been some variation in the flavor profile from year to year or over a couple of years. There's some variability with the uh, flavors. Some people don't like it as much. I find right now this batch uh, is quite smooth, quite gentle, whereas say 10, 15 years ago, Talisker might have had a bit more kick. On the finish, you're left with, again, this sweetness, this green tea, uh, kippers, all the classic maritime notes, but none of it offensive, and it has a hook. It's got that day tripper guitar hook, you know, or satisfaction, Keith Richards, you know, playing away that reels you in for another listen. This reels you in for another sip. Talisker 10, highly recommended, whether you're new to Scotch whiskey 
or an old dog. If you can find it, it's a reasonable price point, at least where I live. And I've never been disappointed. Take care. I'm going to be away for a week or two on vacation. When I get back, I think we're going to venture into the rum world. I have two rums, uh, Mount Gay Extra Old, and another one, uh, not Gosling's. I just opened the bottle the other night, and I can't remember the name right now. Anyway, take care. Cheers.